how to create interesting shapes in Painter. Now, one way around this is using selections. Shapes themselves have got a limited range of features, so you can you can use shapes, but you've got rectangle, you got but you can't add them together. There's no feature for that. Not like in, in something like Photoshop and many other applications. For some weird reason doesn't seem to be a feature for that. Selections, however, are a great way around that. So once you've actually removed those designs there, you can see you've got the points and everything. Exactly the same as most applications, Illustrator, etc. But adding them together to actually form a more complex part. Now, go over to the selections, and like I say, you've got, you've got ellipse, you've got a rectangle, exactly as before, but as a selection. Make certain you've actually got the new selection on. So make certain that's on first, and then as soon as you do that, you see new selection. I'm just going to quickly go and create another new selection there. The old selection goes, but you've got the new selection, and then go to add to selection. So you can actually add that ellipse to that previous selection. And of course, you can use rectangles, etc., as well. To create a much more complex shape, you can see you build it up just by adding that more and more designs. Obviously, it's not the greatest of designs, but I'm just showing you an example. You obviously could, and also you can use the subtract as well, subtract option. Once you've done that, click the convert to shape, and then you can see you've got the actual design there. Very quick and easy, but a fairly complex pass. Now, once you've actually got that, of course, you can go and uh, modify. You can do shapes and set shape attributes. You can set the color, modify the opacity, flats, all those sort of things. What you also can do is just go down there to the selection tool and shape. You can actually select the individual points. So you just select that, deselect, and then select the individual points and move them about. And you can change that. Again, creating far more complex shapes than you could normally. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.